Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Um, today, crime, I've got 30 lovely crime paperbacks to go through with you. So this is part of my ongoing library tour. I think this is part 11 of that tour. Um, I'm not sure where we are in terms of what, what instalment it is in the crime um, specific parts of the library tour. I think it's probably part four of crime. Um, and these are all books that I haven't yet read. Um, so I've grabbed from the attic a, a, a fairly large book uh, box which had 33 paperbacks in it. Um, and as I say, these are unread ones that I haven't got to yet. Um, I think all of them, um, by the looks of them, were purchased secondhand pretty much. Um, and I've split them into ones where I've got multiples by the same author and ones where I've only got one book um, by the author. So I'll do the ones where I've got a few books in the series first. Um, there's also one book that I managed to buy the same book twice, um, which is something, something that happens um, to me occasionally. I think on this occasion, it actually, I actually bought them both at the same time without realising it was the same book because I wasn't paying attention. Um, right, so anyway, without further ado, let's crack on. Um, so the first author to talk about is Donna Leone. Um, so I've got a bunch of books here from her um, Inspector Brunetti series, um, which is set in, I think they're set in Venice, aren't they? In Italy, yeah, Venice. Um, so I've read the first two of these, um, which I've got on my Kindle, um, and found uh, in a local charity shop a while ago, a whole big pile of them. Um, and then I think a couple of these I've got elsewhere. Um, but yeah, the Brunetti series, if you haven't read them, are really good. He's a really interesting detective. He's got that kind of doggedness to him, um, which I really enjoy in the detective. He's a bit like May Gray um, in that, you know, they're not they're not violent books, but he's just really determined to, um, you know, to, to track down the killer. So let's go through the, um, the Don Leone books I've got. So we've got Doctored Evidence. Willful Behaviour, Waters of Eternal Youth. If I was organised, I'd make sure that I had these in order and I would tell you which number they were in the series, but uh, I'm not organised, so I haven't done that. Apologies. Through a, dark, uh, through a Glass Darkly, Uniform Justice, Who Would Want a Good Man Dead, Blood from a Stone, and Fatal Remedies. Um, so I've also got here a few Michael Connolly books. So again, I've read, I think the first, I think I've read the first Bosch book and one of the other books in the series that wasn't the first one or the second one, um, but I've got a load more. Um, this is a series I want to read in order. And similarly with the Brunetti series, I do want to read that in order because I think these are both series where, whilst in theory you can read them independently, they're the character progression in them is such that um, that it makes sense to read them in order if you can. Um, so anyway, of the Bosch books, I've got four of them here. So I've got The Narrows, The Black Ice, Echo Park, and A Darkness More Than Night. And then I've also got by Michael Connolly, um, The Lincoln Lawyer, so the first of the Lincoln Lawyer books I think there's a crossover at some point isn't there with the Bosch books I might be wrong but I think there is um so yeah need to read these ones as well um and you know as as with Donald Leon I've really liked the Michael Connolly books I've read so far um so I do need to get into these there's just too many books out there that's the problem um right another series then so the Inspector Wexford series by Ruth Rendell um so I've got two of those um neither of which I've read so some lie and some die uh, and Kissing the Gunner's Daughter. So I have read the first of the Wexford books um, from Doom with Death, which was excellent. Um, but yeah, I haven't got to these two yet. I'm not sure with the Wexford ones if it's so necessary to read them in order. So if you're a fan of the series, do let me know um, in the comments what your view on that question is. It's, it's one of those things that 
people always talk about with detective series, isn't it? Because in theory, you don't need to read them in order, but often it helps if you do. Um, next up, so this is a series I think you definitely need to read in order. And again, I've read the first book, but not any of these. So I think I've got parts two, three, four and five of the series here. So it's the Dexter series by Jeff Lindsay. So I've got Dearly Devoted Dexter. Dexter in the Dark. Dexter is Delicious and Dexter by Design. So again, I really enjoyed the first the first one, but I haven't yet read any more. Um, okay, right, on to ones where I've just got a single book by the different authors. So um, I have actually got another one of these books on the shelves behind me somewhere, I think, and I've got a ton on my Kindle as well. So Fatalist by Karen Slaughter. Now, I can't remember if I've read this one. I think I might actually have read this because it's one of the Grant County books. And I certainly read the first few Grant County books when they first came out. So I think I might have read this. Um, but yeah, I really like Karen Slaughter. Um, I've got Closed Case by uh, Sophie Haddo, which is her kind of, not a modern reinterpretation, but a continuation of the Poirot series. So a new or well, newish Poirot mystery. Um, I've got uh, See What I Have Done by Sarah Schmidt, which is about uh, Lizzie Borden. So lovely... Um, lovely colour and lovely orange page edges too. Um, I'm not normally, apart from like lovely vintage paperbacks, I'm not normally a, you know, someone who oohs and ahs about what books look like, but I do really like coloured page edges. I think they look fantastic. Um, so, and, and this reminds me, I need to get a new copy of Lizzie by um, Evan Hunter, his book about Lizzie Borden. So he's my favourite, my favourite author. And he did a book about Lizzie Borden as well, which I read years and years ago. So I need to get a new copy of that. Um, so I've got Rumble Tumble by Joel Lansdale, which is one of the Happen Leonard books. So I just read recently the first Happen Leonard book and I'd forgotten that I had this. Um, I can't remember what number this is in the series. I think it's like number six or something like that. Oh no, here we go. Number five by the looks of it. So yeah, I read Simon Season, the first one, which was excellent. So... I, I will read this series in order. You can get them fairly cheap on Kindle, the Happen Leonard books. So I need to remember not to buy this one on Kindle because I've already got it. Um, this one was a, a random charity shop pickup. I don't really know anything about this series, but it looked quite fun. So it's kind of a, a Victorian mystery. Um, so Kitty Peck and the Daughter of Sorrow by Kate Griffin. Um, so yeah, it looks, looks like fun. It's a bit long, to be honest with you. It's over 500 pages, which I think is pushing it a bit for a mystery. Um, but yeah, we'll, we will see what that's like when I get to it. Um, and then I have this, I think this is Norwegian, so part of the Munch and Kruger series. Um, the Owl Always Hunts at Night by Samuel Bjorn. Um, sorry, Samuel Bjork even. Um, and this is a series that is um, very well thought of. Um, they seem to get consistently good reviews. So, uh, and, and again, I think I've got one of these, and another book in the series on my Kindle. Um, so another couple of books here that I'd forgotten I had. Um, so I've been meaning to read the um, Parker books by Richard Stark for ages and I'd forgotten that I've got one in the attic. Um, so they're supposed to be excellent, um, but I've never got around to them. And in fact, I don't think I've read any Richard Stark at all. I can't remember who his other characters were. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've read him and he's, he's one of those authors that everyone raves about. So yeah, Ask the Parrot by Richard Stark. Um, and then also, I've been meaning to read more James Elroy, so I've also got White Jazz by James Elroy, um, which is one of the L.A. Quartet. I don't know with the L.A. Quartet if you're supposed to read them in order or not. I've read The Black Dahlia, which is the first one, but this is the fourth one, um, so I may need to fill in the gaps before I get to that one. Um, OK, next up, I'm not sure this is technically a crime book, um, but it's by a crime author, so I put it in a crime, a crime box. So Killing Johnny Fry by Walter Mosley, which I think is a... Um, for want of a better word, a dirty book. Um, so I think it describes itself on the front. I don't know if you can see that. It's a sexistential novel. Um, so yeah, I really like Walter Mosley. I'm not sure what this is going to be like, but I think he's a fantastic writer. Um, so here we've got the two books where I bought the same book twice in the same shop on the same day because um, I wasn't paying attention to two Mickey Spillanes, uh, both of which are The Long Wait. Um, but who could who could not resist these uh, or who could resist who could resist these lovely kind of slightly vintage covers so these are kind of 70s editions so they're not like proper proper um 
you know vintage pulps but they are uh, they are both very nice covers uh right next up another book from a series so uh fire sale by sarah Paretsky from the vi warshawski uh series so i read the first five i guess warshawski books when they came out i really really like them um and then kind of fell out of reading the series but this is um, one of the more recent ones i don't know actually having said that i don't think it's that recent uh when did it come out i oh, know 2005 so it's fairly recent um so yeah i i enjoyed the Warshawski books that I've read so I will enjoy that at some point I have no doubt um, and then another standalone so David Lindsay I don't think I've read any David Lindsay books although I'm sure I had a copy of his book Mercy so I think this is kind of serial killer E um, so A Cold Mind um, looks not too long 300 pages so that might be a, a good one to pick up when I fancy something a bit different um, and then finally I've had this uh, copy for years and years so a nice uh, vintage pan edition of the four just men by edgar wallace so edgar wallace is often credited as being kind of one of the inspirations for the giallo cinema movement in uh, in italy so well, it's not really a movement is it? It's, it the giallo films in italy which are you know kind of nasty crime slash horror movies um so I think a lot of the early ones were adapted from Edgar Wallace books. So I've always kind of wanted to read him, but I've never got around to him. But this one looks quite fun. I think it's about a a gang of four four men who take on crime. So that sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? Um, and it's a lovely old lovely old pan edition as well. So that was uh, a whistle stop tour through thirty three more books from my library. Um, so as always, let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. Um, particularly for the ones that are in series let me know um, if if you've read the series and they do need to be read in order or do not need to be read in order uh, but yeah as always hope you enjoyed that um, thanks for watching do appreciate you taking time to to watch my videos um, but yeah as always hope you're well um, hope you are really good stuff and I will speak to you again very soon cheerio